guys, okay, I'm getting ready right now to go to Jamie's house. I think we are going to be hanging out, doing something. I don't know, I left my hair stuff in here. And I need to, I can't decide if I wanna put my hair up. I took a shower last night and I didn't wash my hair. I kinda just did like the thing. I was like, oh no, I'm gonna wake up. I'll take another shower in the morning um, because I didn't wanna wash my hair and then go to sleep with wet hair because I did that the last time and I just, I hate when I do that. Um, a lot of the time, if I don't like have the time to actually like put products in it, do whatever. My outfit. So I am just being casual today. I'm wearing my Converse and then jeans. These jeans are ripped here. Things that no one would notice, like I just point out anyway. Thrifted. I just wanted to be comfortable and cozy. I think Jamie and I are going to try to thrift um, like a coffee table for her for her apartment because she bought one from Ikea But it turns out it wasn't a coffee table. Um, let me see here. I'm gonna try it on hats in here It's like oh, maybe I could do that hat. That could kind of be cute. Maybe I'll do this hat. Okay. Let's see Where if I hear you, I do. I'm gonna do this Tuck my hair back I could even put my hair. I added a scarf I'm gonna wear a black jacket too. I'm gonna add, but I'm gonna put my perfumes on. I think I'm gonna mix two of my favorite dossier. I work with them a lot, but this video is not sponsored by them, but you guys, I love dossier. I'm gonna do Woody Chestnut. Mmm, that one smells, I think this one is paired by By the Firewood or By the Fireplace by Margella. And then this one is Oriental Cherry. And I like to mix them and I feel like it gives a very sultry smell. I don't know, like very sophisticated, but still like fruity because of the cherry. I don't know. I don't want to wear like a full blown jacket. So I think I'm going to do this one, my black quilted one. If you can see that. My hat is Nordstrom Rack. Sweater, or I mean scarf is thrifted. Jacket is eBay. Under here, sweater, thrifted. Jeans, thrifted. Um, and then shoes. Converse and then yes, everything else is a mess in this office I might as well just show you so you don't think I'm hiding it because I am because it's like through all of this Jared and I just literally went through every single thing and put them in piles and now I have to put them in storage in like the other room We have like a little storage room and otherwise that's like all my filming equipment and then my little mannequin And it's really just a mess. So um, like I said, I'm uh, maybe I will put a little bit of makeup on <laughs> So not graceful See, I'm gonna put, I have a car scent to put into my car from Drift. Um, let's see, I forgot which one is in here, but they come like this and they're like little reusable ones. And they're my favorite car scents ever. And so I'm putting this one in my car because I hate the smell of this one. Jared has this like refresh, you know, the little ones. And I, I don't like the smell. It smells like, I don't know what it even, it smells like linen-y, like, like laundry detergent. And this one is so much cuter. You can see that, so much cuter and sleeker. But um, I am going to head to Jamie's. I don't know which drink I want. Do I want the Celsius or, these are my like favorite coffees. We, I get them at um, Costco, I believe. And let's see, this is natural caffeine this is, or my Celsius. I haven't had any coffee today because our Nespresso machine, I don't know what happened to it. I was on the like thing with the chat people earlier and I have to get like, they're sending me a new one um, because like the light was flashing and it was broken or something happened. I don't know, it wasn't gonna reset. It wasn't letting me descale it. It wasn't doing anything and I had like gotten this Nespresso advent calendar. So that's coming soon. I also have Felix's advent calendar. We, I've been so behind. It's like already the 3rd of December. We still have to do our trees. Our like decorating vlog and our tree vlog should be in this vlog or the next one. I don't know. Let's see how much caffeine is in each. And then we're ready to go. I will talk to you guys probably when I'm there because it's like an hour drive. Um, and I'm not going to take, I am going to take the highways. I wasn't going to if it was like snowing still. So maybe I'll listen to my top 2021 songs. Oh, this makes sense. Put on some lip balm really quick. And my glasses because I need my glasses. This is my current favorite lip product. It's the Dior Lip Glow Oil Color Reviver uh, Mahogany. I loved the mahogany color. My sister has the other color. I feel like I've told you this already. Ah! Okay, the light just turned green. Um, I'm about to pull into Jamie's apartment. Yeah. Hi guys. I'm with Jamie now, finally. She's vlogging too. Can you even believe it? 
like you guys need to go follow her channel um or subscribe to her channel it's daily jamie right it's just it's just daily jamie and we're uh, near like a little downtown because she's wearing a super cute outfit and so we're gonna take some pictures <laughs> of course doesn't this look kind of cute like there's a bunch of places we can walk to yeah I so like i thought area. like i always like those colored buildings and then like if we go down there everything looks so like christmas -y. maybe we'll just bring you and i'll show you but look okay, at this is her outfit you guys how pinterest is that i think it's super pinterest and i like the vest where'd you get that thrifted it thrifted it what uh, what about everything else the skirt i know i thrifted her you thrifted this is actually from costco oh yes the puma one oh <gasps> yes it's like the perfect gray color no it literally it's like is oversized. so cute and is that mine? Oh, that's yours. Oh, okay. I was like, oops, I thought I turned it off. <laughs> I was literally like, is that my turn? <laughs> yeah, she's professional <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> um, Look at these shoes. These are from like, it's called Saturday something. Okay. They're cute. I don't know where. They're literally they like, they're so cute. They were like on an Insta Instagram ad. And I really? And you just them. randomly bought them? Yeah, so that's a good they, find though. I have no idea what Because you know is. what? I literally, I think I just said it in one of my other videos. First of all, they're like Christmas, Christmas music. <laughs> like, so loud. That's I love that. Wait, I, do you have my, I have to wait. Hold on. I always hate these stupid parking things because I never know my, Jamie's going to go take a picture. I never know my um, license plate. Like, who remembers their license plate? I'm, I'm not a city girl, as you can see. Hold on. Oh, you shouldn't say it. You mean, hey. That's all right. You cold? A little bit, just a little. A tad I'm out bit. paid. How do I? How do you do plus? Oh plus. Oh oh, you can do. Okay, I'd rather just do that. Is there a line on the other side? There definitely is. What? Let's see, this is behind the scenes of us taking Instagram pictures. I'll set it up. Are you doing vlogmas? Yeah, I'm just uploading every day though. A different video. Why is this? Two dollars from Walmart. Look cute. <laughs> Walmart. Walmart. Then you know it's Christmas. Snow. The pants are already ripped. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like right here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them. But anyway, a little. Um, mittens are from Urban Outfitters. I think they're so cute. They're really, really cozy though. That's the biggest thing for me. Um, I got these things. These like, well, I've had them in my car, you know, the little wisps. But I realized, like, to clean your teeth, you know. Wait, and I've never seen those. What? Shut up. Like a mini toothbrush? Yeah. And I got it because I had the worst taste in, well, I didn't get it. I brought them out because I remembered I had them because I had the worst taste in my mouth because I had this coffee and then my Celsius. <laughs> That was so gross, but oh, it's yeah, like I've never seen one. Is it's it, not really it like, like it is a just brush. Head? Yeah, is it just like brushes. Scented? Yeah, it like tastes like a mint kind of. Look, we took really cute pictures though, you guys. Like it's super cute down here. First of all, we took self timer pictures of ourselves, but then also like <laughs> look at Miss Pinterest girl. Love that. Uh, store, we have to find a thrift store. We have to find like a good one, not the one we went to before. I mean that one was fine. It just wasn't as. Plentiful yeah. as Wait, possible. Wait, I remember that one. Oh yeah, remember? Let's see, this one's 13 minutes away. Okay. Oh my gosh, we're it's so, so good. good. <laughs> show them the capital. Okay, we're going around and round about. I just wanted to show you that really quickly. Look how freaking cute it is down here. Um, yes, I just did. Wow, a are we getting dizzy or what? Uh, yeah, <laughs> two laps around the roundabout just to show you. But I point have of view, Jordan's driving. Yo, V, your older sister is driving. So cute. No point of view. She's going down a one way street the wrong way. You guys, I literally, I, I Jamie lives near the city and uh, <laughs> she's a city girl. Jamie's a city girl. I live in the country and near us, there are not a lot of one way streets. And near her, literally, every time I'm over here, <laughs> like this is a one way. No, but, it's not actually. Oh, Jamie. No, the oh. right one way. Oh, the right. Wow. Wow. I'm telling you guys, I don't get out much. <laughs> like, <laughs> look like wackos. We're in a different store, but look at this leather trench coat. Jamie's trying a trench coat on right now. <gasps> Wait. 
Jamie, that looks so cute on you. Really? Like, not kidding. That looks like an Aritzia one. Yeah, it, look, it looks very nice. Box. For $16, right? Yeah. Oh, my, I love it. Oh, yeah. I like this personally for me. I think that's so cute, but I'm not going to get it. It's just because I probably won't wear it that much, but it's super cute still. I like Jamie, it. I feel like you need that. I agree. Do people uh, usually leave this on? I do, just okay. but then I kind of, yeah, it depends. I leave it with it and then I. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> wait, why is it like? Oh, what? oh, now it's doing it. Oh my god, that was really creepy. That really was. Okay, we're going back to her apartment now. I don't even know why I pulled out. I was just as confused. Why? Okay, you guys, we came back. Oops, we're at Jamie's apartment now. And if you can see, this is the coffee table we found. And we got the stuff to paint it. We're gonna paint it black, right? Yeah. Ah, I'm so excited. And then she also got like these little, um, what are those called? Stockings for on there. One for you. The white one is for you, big guy. Okay, we have it all set up and ready to paint. We just put garbage bags down so that it'll be fine. I should take my shoes off because I don't really care about the rest of my outfit, but my shoes, I don't want them to get paint on them but we did go to um we went to michael's to get the craft stuff like the paint and everything so let me show you what we're going to use i've never used this before i've usually only used like paint from home depot or stains and stuff but i figured michael's because we've never done that oh also you guys i got um stuff to knit so this is this wool yarn and then i got a pair of knitting needles i don't know if this is um if these are the right size or not they're like long us 9 14 inches two-piece nails and they're aluminum i had I, okay i used to knit whenever i was younger a long 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 time ago and i just haven't and so i'm like i wonder how it's gonna be oh we also got these to put up her little um stockings command hooks but this is the paint we got to use one um folk what does it say paint and sealer in one hopefully this is going to be enough i think it will because it's like not too big of fun um and i'm just excited to see how it's going to turn out i mean um look at i built those what? side tables you did it seems cute those are way better size yeah that's what i was like that fits way better also, no, we are not sanding it or anything like that. We're, we just picked a paint that has sealer in it, so hopefully it'll be fine and supposedly has good, like, traction, it says on the back. Um, but we're just going to see how it goes if we have to put, like, another sealant on after. I'm walking around about what's happened to me from July up till now don't know where don't know how lately I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes so oh, it's true I'm so glad you feel it too nothing to add fall in love to me is this not such a vibe you guys like with the fireplace and everything and the cats are oh my god they're mad we had to block them off so that we could paint this and honestly because it like looks brand new because before it was not in like the best condition like this the wood under it it had like some rings on it like water rings and stuff you literally can't tell right like, you can kind of see on the edges right here oh yeah you can kind of but yeah you're right that's really all you can really tell i know Okay, this is our room before the couch comes in. There it is, our new couch. Um, so if you remember before, so ignore everything else that's in here, this is all like just a placeholder. Um, but we just bought this couch from Interior Define. Okay, you guys, this is it. This is our new couch. So we actually had our white sectional there before, as you probably remember. Um, and we got that when we first moved into this house. And we already knew that we didn't want it in there forever just because it was really big. But we wanted a sofa. We moved that other white couch downstairs to the basement so that we can have like a little sitting area. We have a TV down there. I'll show you guys. I wanted this one to be a little bit more fun and funky. 
um, because like I said, we, we scrambled and we bought the one from Wayfair, which we love. Like I still like it, uh, but this one was like our dream couch for in this room. And I think it looks so good. This is the interior defined sofa. Um, I'll put like the name here and then like the um, color because I can't remember it right now off the top of my head. But it's velvet. It's per I think it's their performance velvet. So because we have all the animals and everything, we wanted something that kind of hid hair more than the white but still wasn't like gray or anything. We wanted like a fun color and we thought velvet. I know it's going to like hold the hair. I've heard that it doesn't show as much and if we like lint roll it every day or vacuum it every day I think it should be fine. And so we have that right there and then we're going to get like a chaise there. We're going to go sh online shopping that up that we want to do and then this is what it looks like on the other side. We have two mismatched chairs and then these little stools which we just brought in because Jared's grandparents were visiting and we all kind of sit in here whenever they come. And so that's what it looks like right now but we're going to get two matching chairs and hopefully put them somewhere. I don't know where. And then, um, these, like I said, and I think it'll be perfect. This, uh, coffee table, I think I showed it to you guys before. It's from the Our House Outlet, and I love it personally. But this is our living room current state, and I just love the way that this sofa looks. I love the color of it. I just think it's beautiful. It's like the chartreuse almost. Like, I don't know. I had you guys help me actually on Instagram pick the color out because we were so split down the middle on colors. We were going to do like a dark green. We were just going to do like the tan, but we decided to have a little bit of fun because we are going to get a new rug and move this one to our bedroom. I kind of want to stick in the same color scheme as this rug. And I thought that that color would go with like this kind of color scheme as well. And just the color scheme overall that I like in our house. And it's kind of really messy right now, but you know, it happens. I wanted to show it to you guys because it is super comfy too. Like if you can see how deep it is, we got like the extra deep. And I want to say that this is eight something, eight feet, not eight feet, eight inches, eight feet, eight, no, 80 inches, eight feet, something like that. I'm five, eight. And, uh, I think I showed a clip really quickly of our couch. Oh yeah, I definitely did. I definitely vlogged before this. So we moved our old one down here into the basement. And I don't, I don't think I've showed you guys our basement in like a long, long, long time. And Jared has been working very hard on it. Um, he actually works down here as like his office as part of it. And so he keeps it really cute. Let me, let me show you. I don't know if I've showed you guys this before. This is like my favorite part of our basement. But this is actually a payphone. If I can open it from Fisher Building in Detroit, if you can see this. And I don't know, I love it. I just told Jared, I think we're gonna like decorate it for Christmas Going just for smell. fun. I'm the smell. It smells like that. It smells like the Fisher Building, probably not. <laughs> it smells like fish. <laughs> it smells like fish. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, okay, and then this is over here, Jared's work area, which I'll show you. And then this is like the living room area. Um, and it, we never really have used it as a living room because we didn't have a couch down here, obviously, but we did have two chairs and we would sit down there sometimes. Um, this is our old, this is like basically like all of the first furniture that we've ever had in this house and our old house. And we kind of just, it's like, um, hand-me-downs down here. Here, I still love this rug. It was the first one we had upstairs and it just didn't fit anywhere else. So we decided to put it down here. And then this couch, um, again, just our Wayfair couch I put right here. I think it looks so good. Jared actually just did it and he cleaned it, um, and vacuumed it. All the Felix hair off of it and I'll show you guys his plants over there but then if you just turn oh my god Jared you did such a cute job he did this all himself I'm very very impressed um and then if you go over here it's just like the kitchen area which we never ever use but it's nice to have because technically it's like the mother-in-law suite or whatever but no one ever really <laughs> sleeps over or comes over like that we have his little bookshelf here one of his guitars uh, I helped him style this a while ago I think it looks pretty good still I'm pretty proud of that and then he told me to let you guys know that he knows he has to trim some of the dead uh, leaves off of his plants. But he has compiled all of our plants down here that um, couldn't we couldn't keep upstairs because of the animals. Like the cats. Some of them are poisonous to cats and they don't come down here or anything. And also they are just, they're just like not nice to plants. They just get obsessive and so we just moved them all down here. And they're all doing so well. Like we got this Monstera when we first moved out into our um, old house and it's like thriving down here which is kind of funny because it, there are only really these well I guess there's these two windows and then over here too um, but and I thought I would just show you obviously it's still a basement so we have like random crap all over that's kind of just for storage and stuff this whole other side I think looks really great and then this is Jared's um, work area which he's working on as well he just got this new desk from Crane Barrel it's so nice looking and 
yeah, so that's his little setup he's working on, like I said, and then these are all of our cleaning things that we brought down, so we have to bring these back up. Well, actually, there's some of it is just trash. Get the light in here right now. Our garland didn't fall down. It was taken down by one of these, wherever Franklin is. These are my only Christmas decorations I think we're going to decorate tonight, hopefully in this same vlog, but these are from Target. Um, this is from an antique store, and then we walk into the living room, and we have this. Um, I literally found this ribbon at a thrift store a long, long time ago, and I finally found a use for it. I think it looks so pretty. And then you turn, and there's nothing else except for over here we have my little Christmas tree farm. And that's literally it, my little Christmas tree farm. So we basically... Oh, I guess I do have a little bit of garland there. But again, it. I kind of want like a little tree for here. Then we're going to take out our Christmas tree and either put it there or there. I'm thinking here this year. Last year we had it over there, but I'm, I don't know. We're going to see. So he's sitting on the couch. We already have covered it. So he loves laying on the couch. He's just a comfy dude as he should be. that we like to walk through sometimes and we're going to back grab some day. hot yeah back in the day whenever we had brains <laughs> why <laughs> <laughs> i just feel like we don't have we don't really think of that anymore but the starbucks drive through because i decided i'm not going unless i have a hot drink because that just feels right is to have like or to have a hot drink while going through like walking through trail and then after this we're gonna go to target i want to get stuff jared listen loud and clear I want to get stuff. Nice. To do to do that payphone thing downstairs. And also, I want to get like tinsel. I'm going to decorate the tree and I don't care if the cats are going to bother it. Let's go. Yes. Okay. I got a chestnut praline latte hot. Um, and it came with whipped cream and these little, what are they? Little candy things on top of it? I don't know. Very good. Tell them your drink. <laughs> you. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Cheers, brother. <laughs> There's another one. Look. Everywhere on this whole trail has like little Christmas ornaments. Sorry, it's kind of shaky, but. Have our cart here um, we found like a really cute little sheet set down there but then you guys look at this that Jared spotted I'm so excited and then otherwise we just have like a blanket little tree what is that called it not a tree skirt I forget tree bucket tree collar. Tree, tree collar there we go that kind of thing um, and I'll show you everything at home but we're gonna go home and decorate the tree okay you guys we're officially home now um, let me show you my outfit I'm literally wearing red to decorate the Christmas tree. Well, we're decorating in general, but mostly the Christmas tree. We just brought it down from our storage room and I'm going to set the tone. I'm gonna set up the fireplace. We're gonna put the fire on and we're just gonna have a good old time, aren't we, Mr. Felix? Okay, let's see, can you see a good view of this? One, two, three. Oh yeah. Gorgeous. 
All right, let's get going. Oh, yeah, long I've been keeping track of when I've been lonely and nice. And from what I can tell, I've done more good deeds than I've told lies. I can only hope that Santa Claus. We haven't even finished putting the tree up yet. It's literally like that. We already have a topper. Um, sir? Okay. Let's see, one of the things we got, we got a bunch of tinsel and garland, or garland, I guess. It's, I guess it's all garland, huh? Oh, tinsel garland, aha! So we got this little one of gold, and then we figured, honestly, normally we do like a lot of like white and blacks and stuff, but we wanted to kind of have it be a little bit funkier this year. Um, and we were very inspired by some of the anthropology like trees that we've seen. So we got a few of those in red, which again are totally outside of our comfort zone. And also these little ones are little dogs. Aren't they cute? But we'll show you everything afterwards um, once it's on the tree. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Pardon me. And then we got some more um, other ones. So this is our big bin of stuff. Oh, look at it. And we have a little 2020 from when we got married. Um, and then, oh, here are our stockings. Oh, mm. I wanted, I was wondering about those. Here, wait. I love this thing. We got this one the first year that we moved out together, and I still think that's so cute. I like it. Um, some of the other stuff is questionable, though. Like, look at, oh, cute, okay. Oh, I love this one. Mm -hmm. Remember, we got these ones all last year. I know. Yes. Like okay, it. this was our first year that we moved out. We had oh, every single thing was this print. Remember that? <laughs> Literally. Even so the then we started skirt. adding it. Yeah, even the tree skirt, which and we have, like, I wonder if we still have it. Maybe napkins or something? Yep. Or yeah, you'll see. Oh, yeah, look at it. No, they're all napkins oh, in yeah, here. Yeah. And tablecloth and the tree skirt. Oh, my God. The tree's made. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's the daytime, um, which explains why I'm still in my same pajamas. I haven't changed yet. We literally just took Felix on a walk this morning. I still have to shower um, and then change. And then I think we're going to go to Jared's parents' house. So I don't know if this is going to be in the vlog I'm putting up today or in the next one. But I thought I would show you guys our living room. Oh my god. <laughs> I literally almost tripped over that. Anyway, I thought I would show you guys our living room. We started decorating. And so this is our tree. The cats were in it all night but you know what I don't care as long as I get to look at how pretty it is the lights aren't on obviously because it's the daytime but but I think um all of these little fun ones are the ones that we got at uh what is it called yesterday Target and even like the dinosaur because Jared loves dinosaurs so I was like that's so cute because it's in gold and then this one looks like cash to me like does it not you guys um and then we just got like a few more just really fun ones and I think it looks cute I like it and then this little garland for across there and then we still have to get little hooks 
um, the things that go up here to put all of our stockings, which are actually over here, just like sitting here. And then our couch with two of these blankets. This one, I thrifted in my last thrift with me. I love it. And then this one is just from Target. It's like super big and comfy and it has Sherpa on the other side because we figured we wanted like a little bit, some cute little Christmassy ones. We never do that. We usually just use our normal regular ones. We like to cover it when we leave and so Felix can lay on it and we don't have to worry about it. We did that with our other couch too just because he's so hairy and shetty. Um, and then this is what it looks like from this angle, but this is basically it for right now. I'm so obsessed with this too. I think I need to add a little bit more tinsel, but I'm worried about the cats. Um, so I put it up here because I couldn't get it up there. Uh, but otherwise, this is what it looks like. I should put the fireplace on again. And then, and then we got this little thing here from Target. And then I just put it in a pot that we've already had from Target. A lot of our stuff's just from Target. So this is what it looks like as for right now. Uh, it, we're getting there. We kind of just started. And then I th think I showed you guys this. Surprise. I want to get a garland to, to go around there. Um, and then I also want to get garland for outside. Then I need to open the curtains because it is that time of day when I come in here and I haven't opened them. I'm like, it's so dark. And I end up realizing why it's so dark in the house. But anyway, um, like I said, today I think the plans are um, we took Felix on a big long walk. He met a doggy, which was really nice. Because he's, he's not skittish and he's not reactive like meanly. He's reactive in because he's so excited to see another dog. He like barks, but he sounds really scary because he has a big bark because he's a big dog. And so he's just like a deep voice, you know? And so people get scared off by him. And so then we try to just avoid people most of the time on our walks just because also we're on a walk and I don't really, you know, care for him to talk to other dogs necessarily every time we're on a walk. Um, but we met this one really, really nice guy today and he came up behind us and I was like, okay, Felix, leave it. And usually he just like walks with us and he leaves it. Um, I always have my fanny pack with my treats on. He's like, I'm always prepared to like pass another dog. And so this guy came up behind us and he had a dog and he kind of was getting close and I was like, uh-oh. Sometimes people are jerks on walks. Like I've realized that with dogs, like sometimes we'll take Felix to the trail or we took him hiking when we were um, up north. We just have met some like kind of jerky dog owners who were like, my dog is so trained and so perfect. Like screw your dog because he barks. Like you have a terrible dog. You're a terrible person. You're a terrible dog owner. And I try so hard with him. And he does get neutered on the 16th, which I think t plays a very big role in like how he walks at least. Um, not that it's going to fix it or anything. I know that it's probably not. He's very obsessed with trying to find a girl dog or a mate or something. Thing, and so he's always like sniffing the grass and like trying to find a girl um which i get it hey he's a bachelor he's single he's go for it but like so anyway the guy was really nice he came up behind us he's like oh is he okay to like will he be nice or whatever and i'm like oh yeah he'll be nice he's just like barking because he gets really excited he came up and they sniffed and he was like a golden retriever and he was so cute um he was really sweet and the guy was really nice anyway so we had a really great walk this morning he was good on it and we came back home and we've kind of just been chilling now i ordered <laughs> groceries for the first time in a really long time you guys normally just like go to the grocery store but we've both been so busy the past like weekend or two weeks and we haven't gone to the grocery store and i just don't have time today and also i don't like going on weekends i'm like because ours gets crazy on the weekends, especially during the holidays. And so I'm like, I don't really just wait until the weekdays. But uh, it's not, I don't know. Today just was like, I'm just going to order them and just hope for the best. I usually hate doing that because I like picking out my own produce and stuff. And I think we're going to make, uh, what do we decide? We decided to make sloppy joes this week. And then we decided to make white bean chicken chili um, from Half Baked Harvest. They're her recipe, which you know her, I think her name is Tegan. Um, but she has the best recipes ever on Instagram. She has very beautiful Instagram also at that, but I'm gonna make that this week. And then I think, like I said, like I said, Jared wanted to make Sloppy Joe's. He loves that. So that is what we have so far for the week. Um, but anyway, that, anyway, that's been our morning and everything like that. I haven't even like put moisturizer on. I brushed my teeth when I woke up, put my hair back, and then we literally like left in the morning. So anyway, I'm gonna edit this vlog right now. I'm so excited because I think this is the one with me and Jamie in it. And I love it when Jamie's in my vlogs because obviously I love Jamie. So if you're watching this, Jamie, I love you. I think she was vlogging too. So like I said, I probably said it in the beginning too, but um, my sister, Jamie, does have a channel and she's so freaking cute. She's gonna be posting a lot of vlogs, workout stuff, health girl stuff, and yoga stuff, I think. And you're listening to the podcast and you didn't know she had a channel, go binge her old videos because I mean, hey, I love them. I actually was literally just binging them a few week weeks ago because I'm a creepy sister. I'm so creepy. Um, all right. <laughs>